Too long ago, I was working in a temporary waste storage facility for decommissioned reactors. The forklift driver had a sudden heart attack. One accident led to another. You got a death wish? Forget the rest and get out ASAP! The drums weren't filled with much. Contaminated dirt. Worn out components. Protective suits. As far as radioactive waste goes, it was low risk. Low enough for no immediate harm, as far as experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. The cancer could have come from just about anywhere. Hold up. What were you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So, this was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing that I doji to let me do it. <sighs> and this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. You know, being educated on the streets and all. Uh, you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. 
The last thing I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. But then I figured it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. Yeah, I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely for my health. Uh, so, is that why back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. <laughs> Though, I am a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight that easy? This shit's unreal. you son Of all people... Man! You don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this! What you need right now is a doctor! Believe me, I've gone. Apparently the cancer spread. Metastasized, they called it. Nothing any surgery can fix. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then you need to be getting your rest. You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here? Well, I've got some words for them. Kasuga. No, I'll make this right! Kasuga, it's not like that. <sighs> my being here and everything, that was my decision from the start. If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. But then, why? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <sighs> Think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. Is he for real? Hey, Guska, you okay? Yeah. I know the guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just crazy. I mean, he's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower, let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. There's a pretty big one here in town. No, it's useless. No one would be enough to stop him now. Huh? Kiryu-san, he had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa-san. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind, too. What, 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 what do you mean? Who did? Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyhow, if that's how Kiryu-san wants it, then there's only one thing we can do. We get this taken care of quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? No, I'm not upset. Still, 
It did catch me off guard. I just didn't want you guys to worry. Sorry. Guess I only made you more concerned. Well, I mean, how could we not be? But Kiryu-san... Hmm? Seriously, thanks for telling us. If I didn't know and something happened to you, I would have never been able to forgive myself. To be honest, I'd rather drop everything and take you to the hospital straight away. That said, I know how stubborn you are. So, for my sake, do you think you can rely on us a little more? Rely on you? I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed, but we're here too, you know? So, share the load. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy. Right? Right. Mm, I see. All right. Yeah, I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Definitely. Happy to help. Right, enough chit-chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Make sure you're ready for anything. Tomizawa, is there a good place to go shopping around here? Hmm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? Close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. Stock up there first. What's up? I see. Thanks. Yeah. Aloha. Thank you. Doing better than I thought. This is awful. Aloha!
Thank you. What you looking at? I'll bury you. Let's do it. This is the garage the bartender told us about, huh? Hey, what do you want? Huh? Where'd that voice come from? Yeah, I'm over here. Huh? Whoa! Customers, what seems to be wrong with the vehicle? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here about my baseball bat. Well, there's your problem. That's not a car. Yeah, I realize that, uh, but... Wait, hold on! Revolve's bartender sent us. He said there's a one-of-a-kind mechanic here. Hmm... Ugh, why didn't you say that up front? I wasted a whole song and dance on you. Oh, so am I in the right place? If the bartender sent you, yes. We can offer a selection of non-vehicular maintenance services. Name's Julie. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, shall I take a look at this bat? Please. Wow! Guy your age still walks around with a skullcracker like this? That's old school. In a cringy kind of way. Thanks. You can help, then? I'm used to modding guns, swords. <laughs> a bat is child's play by comparison. <sighs> oh well, let's get on with it. What were you thinking? Show me. What is it now? What if I tried... Ha! Huh, shut up! I'm thinking! A little more... This is even better. Good! Holy... It's barely the same bat anymore! I got bored halfway through fixing it up, so I made some improvements. Better leverage here... It'll be a much deadlier instrument now. So, satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. It's so much easier to handle. I feel stronger somehow just from holding it. You're a miracle worker. No wonder the barkeep said you're the best he knows. 
Well, that was nothing special. Certainly nothing he couldn't do. Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Hey, Missy. I'm helping someone else right now, but the exit door is free to assist you. Don't test me, honey. I'm not going anywhere till I get some service. As I've already told you, we only work on vehicles here. Come back when you need an oil change. Enough bullshit. Everybody knows this is a weapon shop. Quit screwing with me. Even if this were the place you think it is, I reserve the right to refuse service to whomever I so choose. Leave. Fucking rat. This how you want to play it? <gasps> now give me some goddamn service, girl. Hey, you need to calm down. Hell, who are you? Just a customer. She's replacing my alternator. Settle down and I'm sure she'll be with you soon, yeah? You fucking tourist. <laughs> you got no idea where you are, do you? All right. How about I shoot you? Then I won't be cutting the line. Well, damn. That does sound reasonable. Let's try it. <laughs> You're a dead man. Someone can bring it on. Allow me. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Bring it. <laughs> All right. Shops off limits to you from now on. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Sorry, you won't see me again. You okay? <sighs> Happens sometimes. Word gets around. The kind of men who look for trouble are good at finding it. Still, I can usually turn them away without much difficulty. Appreciate you taking the bullet from me, though. So to speak. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess with skills like yours, a lot of guys would be interested in coming here. Mm hmm. But, my rule is, only people the bartender gives the okay to. Huh. You and the bartender go back long? No, not very long, but, well, a lot's happened. I'm renting the space from him, actually. He's technically in charge. Is that right? He owns more than Revolve Bar, then, huh? Anyway, if it isn't clear, I'd like to keep our weapons work under wraps. I expect your discretion. Well, I suppose if the bartender trusts you, I should too. <laughs> we good, old man? Yeah, of course. All right if I come around again? Sure, you were useful today. I'll help you out. Only thing is, next time I'll have to charge, and you'll need to supply your own materials. If that's fine by you, come again anytime. Oh, one more thing. Over in the Anaconda Center, there's a colleague of mine. I'll let them know you're allowed there too. Got it, thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you again, Julie Chan. Julie Chan? Oh, sorry, of course of habit. Does that sound strange? No, no, I get it. It's a Japanese thing. I've just never heard that applied to me. I'm kind of flattered, honestly. Yeah, well, just let me know if it's weird. No, don't worry. It's fine. Cool. Julie Chan, it is then. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I'm surprised. Mm. Welcome. What is it now?
I'll start right now. Well, that should be much better. I'm back again. Welcome. What is it now? I'm back again. Yeah. Bring it on. Come <laughs> on. 
Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. It's all worked out now. Come on, hot shot. Brace yourself. Get lost. Looks like I'm up. Allow me. Try hard. That's hard. Another one there. in the back. On to the next level. Think I'm getting stronger. Learning more every day. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Who knew I had it in me? Thank you for stopping. Today is no, not too Today is a blast.
and like this oh. today is going to be a blast. I might be a nat. Thank you for stopping by.
Asuka. Aloha. What's going Aloha me? What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of uh, Suji science. So, what's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. The Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Sujimi, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <laughs> Is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. <laughs> no, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! <sighs> this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three Mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer whose Sujimon defeat their opponents. A three-on-three -three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the League's highest-ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King! King, huh? Look at him! Oh, no time for that now! The match is starting! Good luck! Thanks! Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match! In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt, he's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat! Koichi Idano and his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kum tourist who never stays down, Ichibon Kasuga. Uh, me? What the hell's going on, Sensei? I'll admit I've always been the type to beg forgiveness than ask permission. 
I'll explain later. You just need to win! Wait, win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei, I haven't got any Sujimon! Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum! Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me! His student, Karaki. And I'm his most positive and energetic student, Yokawa. Who the hell are these guys? Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion. And a Sujiman in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sorta... went bust. Thankfully, the Sujiman sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me another check, I'm here to help him out once more. The Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excels at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents don't look so tough. Just give Sodachi-san and his boys some guidance and trust them. You can win. Seriously? Jeez. You better not give me any crap if I lose. And without further ado, this Sujimon League rookie match is on! Guys ready for this? Well, we got this for sure. Time for a Sujimon battle! It's on! Who's ready to see some jacked up weirdos beat the Suji snot out of each other? Here comes a doozy! Attention is thick! Good thing Sujimon aren't paid by the hour! Or at all! Knuckle sandwich and extra knuckle! <laughs> Holy shit! The crowd's ready for something big! My goodness! We're gonna Back break to the draw!
Which trainer will achieve victory? Which Sujimon will be sent to the battle? did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. I knew you had what it takes. Knew it in my bones. Hmm. Couldn't be. Wait, that guy, that's Professor Morikasa, isn't it? Uh, oh shit, it's really him, the former champion. I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now, or isn't he? How intriguing! The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay. Morikasa, son. <sighs> that got out of hand, Kasuka. I'm sorry. No shit! What the hell was all that? I need some details here, Sensei. Right, I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Suji League champion. Oh, <laughs> it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League Committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League Committee? Uh, did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, 
My plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best, become Suji League Master, and win the championship! The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right! Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sodachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Is that really how people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to boot. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth, you know. They've ruined the lives of countless poor Sujimon, all swallowed up by the system. And I am the Sujimon Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujimon brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. I'm asking a lot, I know, but you're the only one who can help. Hmm. All right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Kasuga, words fail me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> I always cry when someone else cries. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works. But I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Hmm. You'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. Sadachi so san and his pupils are three, so I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? It really has to be that rough? Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Sujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. A raid? It's a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuga, go over there and flex. D why Look, raid dwellers respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor, and then win their hearts. Just... Start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Anyway, get... To its Sujimon Master Kasuga! I'll give it a shot!
you gonna cry? Mommy, show me what you got. Allow me. Take this, a peace offering. Whoa, hang on. Come on, come on, come on. We can learn from each other. Guess you're the boss now. Something like that. <laughs> well done, Kasuka. That's the way. From now on, if a Sujiman hangs around after defeat, try recruiting them to your team. Just remember that not all Sujiman will join you. Consult this list here to see who's eligible. Take a look at it now. I think I get it. But don't I also have to help them get stronger? A simple way to improve your Sujiman is to shove some Suji Munch down their gullets. However, it's better to raise them up in battle. If you spot rival trainers in the city, try taking them on. As you defeat other trainers, your ranking in the league will increase. At a high enough rank, you can even challenge the fearsome discreet four. The current champion, King, sits at the very top of that peak. You'll have to dispatch the rest first. It's gonna take long, you think? Nah, with me by your side, it'll be a cakewalk. Let's go grind, knock out the four, and then we'll all take a trip to Suji Land. <laughs> there, there's not really a Suji Land, right, sudachi so san One more thing. Let me install the Suji League app on your phone. You should find it quite useful. All right, I guess I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Kasuga. This is it. You must travel across the land, searching far and wide. Catch Sujima, become a man. I'll wait here inside. Uh, are those lyrics? It, it's uh, something I've been working on. Forget it. Go catch those mons, Kasuga. Sorry. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the best vacation ever. Oh. Never knew Anaconda had an arcade. I wonder what games they have. I'll check it out when there's time. Hello. Aloha. Let me ask. I just want to lose myself in a good game every once in a while. Were you a hardcore gamer at some point? Oh, man. Sure. I used to play tons of Genesis and stuff like that. Genesis? What's that? An arcade game? Now there's a home console around here. I think it's called Mega Drive over in Japan. Wait, the Mega Drive's called Genesis out here? Mega Drive's already a Western name, so what was the point of rebranding? Mm. As if I know. We're really opening up. Too? That's quite the line. Taxi driver pro tip, it's easier to pick up customers in front of a pastry shop. No one wants to risk hoofing it while lugging around a whole cake. Oh, that's a good point. Which is exactly why I know where all the bakeries are. No idea which are good though. Just when I thought you were finally gonna offer some valuable information. All right. Problem. You not so. Show me what you got. Allow me. Cool. We've got to learn more every day. There you are. Don't make a fool of me. Okay, you asked for it. Stronger now. Hey, you made it. Finally feel like doing your job for once. Piss off. So you can really get us into District 5? Call me out all you want. Either way, it's time. No more of this standing around. Let's go. Besides, he's our only lead right now. 
You got me there. Well, after you, Roman. <laughs> Shit. You sure it's cool if we're here? Here's a question. What the hell you want with District 5 anyway? My passport got stolen. Guess the thief used it as a bargaining chip to get inside. Huh. Well, you're wasting your time then. Once something's in the Barracuda's hands, getting it back is practically suicide. I'm actually after the person who stole it. I'm gonna catch him and ask a few questions. Oh, that right? Hey, what's the holdup? Get this thing open already. Who the fuck are they? Uh, just some Japanese tourists with more money than sense. Said they want to see a different side of Hawaii. <laughs> Come on. Not like you've got anything to hide in there, right? Open the gate. Your ass is ready for a special guided tour. This tours a round trip situation, yeah? Don't lag behind, unless you want to end up as a casualty. <laughs> uh... This area was slated for redevelopment, but it got delayed due to a dispute over who owns the land. Still, no matter what country you're in, once something's abandoned, a homeless come knocking. This place became a shanty town in the blink of an eye. It's close to a lot of tourist attractions, so the government's almost always trying to clear it out. But with people coming in from all over the world, their little game of cat and mouse just keeps on going. Then the Barracudas rolled in, and, well, you can see how that turned out. Yeah, Hawaii's the last place I'd expect something like this. You would think, but a lot of these people come here on a one-way trip. They give their passports to the Barracudas in exchange for a stable place to live. But if they give up their passports, then how do they get back home? They don't go back home. District 5's got everything they could ever want. Shops, a hospital, cafeteria. The Barracudas have set up their own laws and infrastructure here. From the government's point of view, it's more convenient for the homeless to be under Barracuda control than to let them roam the streets. Yeah, but doesn't it cost money to use the shops and all? Where are these people getting the money? Ah, uh, they have their ways. So, you got any leads on your passport thief? Yeah, she's a 20-something Japanese woman. Her name's Chitose, kinda hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, sure, that ought to narrow it down. Hey. Did you see a Japanese woman come through here? Goes by Chitose? Japanese? I actually might know something about that. What do you got? A few days ago, some guys got into a scuffle over in West Block. Apparently a woman showed up out of the blue. Not every day you see a little Asian cutie like her in a dump like District 5. Anyway, she was all by herself with nowhere to stay didn't have a mind to bring a tent. As you can guess, a fight broke out real quick over who got dibs in that one. Huh. Who'd the gal end up staying with? Don't know. Wasn't there to see the mayhem. Best bet is to ask around West Block. <sighs> it just had to be West Block. Huh? What's West Block? A sector all the way at the ass end of District 5. A lot of bums like to drink and gamble there. Real rough crowd on a good day. You really think so? Is she gonna be okay? Actually, it's a smart move on her part. Pal up to the strongest guy on that end, and it's easy living from there on. Of course, nothing comes for free. Even in a rat hole like this. 
And you seriously call yourself a cop? <sighs> anyway, West Block's waiting. Let's go. Hey. up yeah ah. yeah Not quite. Sup? Sup? Hi. What? Uh, curious on. I get ya. Thanks. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You Japanese? You're Jose, right? 
We're looking for a woman named Chitose. You know her? You got a thing for my girl? You just say his girl? Look, I'm not here to mess with whatever you got going on. I just want to ask her something. So, can I see her? <laughs> Buzz off. I decide who she sees, and I say no. Come on, man, this is important. The girl stole my passport. I just want it back. I see. You're from the outside and came to steal her back, that it? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Well, you better think twice, pal. No way I'm letting that sweet little thing go. Man, what part of I just want my passport do you not get? Open your ears. I just want to ask her something and go. We're done here. Hey, boys! Get rid of these clowns. Hey, hang on. We got the police with us. Hey, Roman, do something, will you? <laughs> like I'd throw myself between a gang of homeless goons and some no-name foreigners. I only serve the American public, friendo. I am an American, you ass! Gosh, you full of shit! Yeah, well, you brought this on yourselves. But hey, best of luck. If you pull through, we'll keep on with the tour. Here you, son. How are you holding up? Aside from wishing I kept my mouth shut, might help to stop asking how I'm doing every five seconds. Hey, can you blame me? Don't worry about me. Let's just end this quick. Right. How oh, cool. I can do this. I can do this. Now, have at him. Don't get smart with me. Show me what you got. Allow me. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, you good? Right on! Take this fist! And jump it! And kicking time! Alright! What's the hold up? I'm gonna hurt on you! Here I come! I won't hold that. Let's get it done! Now stronger. stronger. <laughs> On to the next! All right, Jose, son. <sighs> if you're really in love with Chitose, you gotta choose your words carefully. Understand? Huh? For starters, don't ever call her your girl. Not even by accident. You don't want to mess up like I did, right? Uh, sure. So, where's Chitose? Uh, well, you see, she, well, she ran off. She ran off? It was that first night. She was offering me drinks. Got a little carried away and sipped one too many. I've heard that story before. Hey, she drugged me, okay? And wait, if that happened on the first night, then... All right, look, I didn't bang her or nothing. You happy? She was gone before I knew it. Uh, Yet yeah, you still went around bragging like she was your property. What an asshole. Anyway, then what? She was asking me about the Barracudas and how she could meet them and whatnot. So I told her how to get to the underside. Wait, you told some girl who just wandered in how to get into the underside? More like I let it slip out. Yeah. Oh, idiot. Well, hold up. What's the underside? Sorry, boys, the tour's over. Just just forget about the girl. Oh, man, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> but we come too far. What the hell's the underside? Hey, pipe down, you moron. 
Look, let's just call it here. You stick your neck out any further, and the axe is gonna fall real fast. We can't do that. I'm taking back what's rightfully mine, and she's got some answers to give. We don't have much time. If Chitos is in this underside, then show us how to get there. Sorry, but you don't get a say in this. <laughs> But promise me one thing. From here on, no more funny business, you hear me? You move when I say so, and keep your mouths shut. That depends on what kind of place we're going. Now, show us the way. Shit. Okay, follow me. Hey, Roman. The way you talk about the underside, is it really that bad? Oh uh, what, the scowl on my face didn't clue you in enough? Come on, let's just try to get along. You know, I'd be a lot more agreeable if you just gave up. That'd be easier, sure. But this isn't a game for us. Oh, is that right? Then at least shut up. <sighs> I'm feeling good. We're going down. Party of four. The boss give you the okay? Don't give me that shit. You want me to take you out of here in cuffs? This is it. A gateway to a damn near parallel universe. Sewer, huh? Thought <laughs> you said parallel universe. Just stick close, smartass. Roman. What the hell do you want? Nothing. Just a bit of sightseeing. And who are they? Sightseers. What else? Okay, hold on. You even run this by the boss? Hey, do me a solid, won't you? I promise. We'll behave. Huh. Behavior only gets you so far. The Anaconda Shopping Center? I see. So this is the underside of District 5. It used to be an air raid shelter, built after you boys bombed our asses at Pearl Harbor. But it went untouched, and now it's just another relic of the war. Fast forward a half century to when the Barracudas came across it. Remodeled it in no time flat. <laughs> Why'd they want to recreate a big famous mall underground now? And who the heck are all these customers? Who's doing their shopping down here? Take a closer look. A fashion show? Designer brand, too. She's all decked out. Uh, is she? Oh, you serious, dude? The coat itself is easily worth 10 grand. And them? What are they doing? Bidding. 
The stuff she's wearing is the merch, and the audience surrounding her is the buyers. The, but, but then, why would anyone come down here just to shop? Uh, hang on a sec. Is all this stuff stolen? <laughs> I'd say stolen's putting it lightly. Everything you see here, no matter how real it looks, is a District 5 original. Made in-house. There are knockoffs? Oh, they're more than just your average knockoffs. These are perfect replicas, down to the very last stitch. Patterns on the fabric included. Crazy bastards smuggle it out of the actual factories. How? I have no idea. That is crazy. One could almost say they do designer brands better than the designers. And that's what makes this the greatest counterfeit market on Earth. As well as the biggest. The world's biggest counterfeit market. And the buyers? They're aware of that? Of course. And not only that, but they're legitimate employees. They're the actual buyers for the department stores you know and love. They come in from the mainland, Japan, heck, all over the world. You mean everything they buy here goes up on the shelves? Yeah, the buyers pass them off as the real thing and sell it straight to the stores themselves. And the difference in price goes directly into their pockets. A single trip could net them hundreds of thousands of dollars. No matter how good of a buyer you are, I'm sure it's hard to resist the appeal. Meanwhile, the customers don't have a clue. They throw money left and right without even batting an eye. The best part is, they don't even care if it's real or not. For most of these people, all that matters is that they bought an expensive brand from a famous department store. The act itself is what keeps them going. Uh, wait. Uh, here's a question. How'd all these people even get down here? You telling me they trudge through the sewers dressed like that? <laughs> now, they have their own special way in. Can't tell you more than that, though. Is everything in that window a counterfeit, too? Yep. They've got a factory pumping this stuff out 24-7. I see. And they're putting the homeless up top to work. Bingo. The payout right sucks, but it's enough to make it by in District 5. Well, it's wild. I'll give you that. But still, where the heck's Jitose? I don't see her here. Well, let's dig a little deeper. So this is where they cook up all the counterfeits. Looks like no one's home. I thought it's supposed to be running 24-7. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, Roman! Hey, who you got there with you? Oh, these guys? <laughs> they're, they're, they're no one. Anyway, what happened here? You shut the whole place down? Yeah. Didn't want to stain the merchandise. Stain it? <laughs> oh, come on, man. You don't think that I would come <laughs> Roman! You really thought you could bring in outsiders to the core of our operation, Vendeo? Ordinary tourists. Now start talking. Or would you rather spill your guts for real? All right. We're looking for a girl named Chitose. You ever heard of her? Kill him. I'm gonna school. All right, let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Right. What's the hold? Let's go. Let's go. Cool. 
cool. Better than I thought. Damn it! Guess we ought to scram for now. No, we keep moving. What? If Chitose's here, then she'll be further in. Yeah, but bust down the door like that? We have no idea what's waiting for us. If we turn back now, we're not getting back in. He's right. Ah, shit. Okay, fine. Right behind you. Let's go. I'm gonna... Okay, you asked for it. All right. You're in it now. Okay. I think that's all of them. All right. No turning back now. Got to keep moving. Yeah. <clears throat> Glad to have you with us.
Bring it on. Bring it on. Looks like I'm up. How big is this place? Sheesh. Oh, beats me. Oh, curious son. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Shoot, we got company! We'll hide in there. Where'd they go? They're gone! They've gotta be in here! Find them! So far, we need a plan. <sighs> yeah, we do. Believe me, you're not the only one. <gasps> it's been a minute, Kasuka-san. How's Hawaii treating you? Chitose-san! <gasps> Chitose? You mean this is her? This is the girl that tricked you and stole your shit? More importantly, she's the only person who has a connection to Akane-san. I didn't expect her to come to us herself. These two are new to me. Friends of yours, Kasuka-san? I'm Chitose. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, pleasure's all mine. So what are you even doing here? The surface is one thing, but this is something else. Well, I've got my reasons. But if you want the quick version, the Barracudas are after me. The Barracudas want you? The heck did you do? If I had to guess, it's because I know too much. About their counterfeiting gig? Huh? No, Akane-san. They're after her too, you know. Wait, they're what? Kasuga, don't you remember what Yamai said? Right. He was also looking for Akane-san. Man, what the hell? What? Is every lowlife on the island in on this? Chitose-chan, do you think you could tell us more? <laughs> Got it.
Smile! 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 And do a silly face! Be sad! And pose! Hey there. Ah. Hey there. Hello. Uh-huh. Right. Probably should go through things in order. I was at Akane-san's four days a week. She hired me to do housework. But about 10 days ago, actually it's been 12 days, she up and disappeared without warning. 12 days ago. Were there any signs you could see it coming? Nope. That day I went to her house like always, but the door was locked and nobody was home. I thought she just stepped out to run an errand or something, but the next day and the day after, she was still gone. Did you call the police at all? No. You see, exchange students in Hawaii aren't exactly allowed to have part-time jobs. If I'd reported it, they might have figured out I was working here illegally. Meaning, when I went to the house, Akane-san was already long gone. So, wait, what were you still doing there? Akane-san never gave me my last paycheck. And it was a whole month's worth, too. I went in to get it for myself. Akane-san told me where she kept the money, and also how she had a spare key under the doormat. Sure enough, that was when you showed up. If that was the case, why didn't you just tell me what happened? Right, like you would have believed me with all that? <sighs> yeah, good point. If you reported me to the police, I'd have been screwed. That's trespassing and robbery. All things considered, I had to get you out of there. And that's why you got me wasted off my ass and dumped me on the beach? Eh, more or less. Okay, but was stripping me down really necessary? Thanks to you, my naked ass got jumped by the police! That was the plan. You'd be so caught up in trying to protect yourself, you wouldn't even have time to chase me down. Guess that's one way to do it. Anyway, what are you doing here in District 5? <sighs> well... Oh, what? Don't clam up now! You guys gotta promise. Not a word of this to anyone else, okay? You want us to promise? You got any idea what we've been through? All right. We promise. Hey! Kazuga! Sure, she might have set me up, but it's got nothing to do with the fact that she's got a secret to keep. Right now? Our priority is to find out what's going on, yeah? <sighs> That's how you see it. I guess an outsider like me ought to hush up. Hey, you're anything but. Thanks, Tomizawa. All right, we promise to keep quiet. Can you tell us why you came? <sighs> okay. But remember, you don't tell anyone, got it? Got it. Don't sweat. The boss would always compliment me on how well I could keep a secret. Huh? Sure, whatever. The reason I came to District 5... It has to do with my family. Your family? Back in Japan? Do you know the name Fujinomi at all? Uh, can't say I do. Hang on. The Fujinomias are major players in Japan's economy. <sighs> Figures one of you would know. If only everyone were more like Kasuga-san. 
Things wouldn't be so tough. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. So... So, I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family. And, as it turns out, I'm the top candidate for their successor. Wait, so like, you're some super sheltered rich girl? <laughs> well, if you want to put a label on it. But yeah, basically. Sure, coming from a famous family has its perks. But in reality, they're all just a bunch of lunatics who will do whatever it takes to keep up the family name. That's a prestige thing, huh? That's not too different from the Yakuza. If you ratted me out to the police, and my family found out about my part-time job... Just thinking about it, I... It's terrifying. Of course, I knew District 5 was dangerous coming in. But I heard that once you're inside, you can essentially disappear. Even the police can't get their hands on you. That's why, after I got you zonged, I immediately skipped over here. Word around town was that you needed a passport to get in. Oh, so the reason you took all my stuff was partly to get at my passport. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense, but man, that's one reckless stunt you pulled. I, I was desperate, and it's not like I don't feel bad, you know? One thing I don't get, your family's totally loaded, right? Why would anyone bother to go through all that trouble for a month's pay at a part-time job? Your folks can just wire you however much you want, right? Here's the thought. Why do you think rich people actually get rich? No clue, actually. It's because they're stingy. Okay. Well, it's pretty clear why you set up Kasuga. Next, let's hear about why the Barracudas are out to get you. I'm sure there's a story there. Okay, so apparently it's rare for someone like me to turn up around here. Soon as I entered District 5, they took me straight to the guy in charge. Wait, wait! You mean the Barracuda's boss? Yeah. And after we talked, he seemed to take a liking to me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't look too unhappy about it. What then? Well, then, the boss decided to keep me at his hideout. And by keep, you mean... Look, I'm sure you can piece it together for yourself. Anything was better than having my family find out. At least, that's what I told myself. But it was kind of a bust. He never even made a move. I mean, maybe he's just been stressed out or something. <laughs> the hell do I say to that? They gave me a room and everything, but I was bored out of my mind in there. They told me not to leave the room, but I snuck out and explored a bit anyway. Next thing you know, I find this in the boss's study. That's... Akane-san! There's all kinds of info about her on here. Dress, phone number, height, facial features. Ew, hey, wait a, wait a second. You might had this too. Right. He's after her, same as these guys. What's it all mean? Why are all these gangsters chasing after Akane-san? I don't know. But it's worth noting I found this in the trash. That probably means he doesn't need this anymore, right? More than that. Couldn't it mean the Barracudas actually got to her? <sighs> With that in mind, I thought there might be a chance they were holding her somewhere nearby. That's why I started snooping around all their factories and stuff. But a bunch of lackeys caught on to me, and now I've been branded some kind of traitor. <sighs> Long story short... Talk about reckless. Really, I'm just glad I was able to meet up with you guys. You're on the run too, right? Why not team up? I'll show you the way out of here. And in exchange, you guys will be my bodyguards. Sound good? Whoa, slow down a second, all right, princess? 
Kasuka, whatever you decide to do, I'm with you. The Barracuda's boss and I got a score to settle. And I say it's time. All the more so. Now that Roman is dead. Hear you, son? It's your call. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Chitose chan. Can you show us the way? But not the way out. I want to see the boss man first. What? Did you hear a word I said? What, you want to take the scenic route for this guy? No. Actually, I'm choosing this for myself. Kane-san might be my flesh and blood mom, and I'm not gonna abandon her. Simple as that. And if you're too scared to go back, would you at least point us in the right direction? Are you serious about this? Yeah. Truth be told, I'm worried about Akane-san too. If she hadn't hired me, I'd probably be face down in a gutter somewhere. Then... That said, there's no point in rushing to our deaths. Things get dangerous, we bail. Okay? Okay. Counting on you, Chi-chan. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Chi-chan. It's a nickname. <sighs> You've never had a girlfriend, have you? Wait. Don't you know that? <laughs> never mind. Let's do it, Ichiban. Okay. Follow me. Kasuga. Hey, don't sweat it. I told you. I'm doing this one for me. Mind lending a hand? Right. Thanks. Still good to go. Chi-chan! Huh. 
Hi. Hey, careful, Kasuka. Keep slipping up like that and you're done for. You can't afford any missteps. Figure out the timing, then dash through all at once. The hell do you want? Run on home to Mama! Show me what you got! Here we go. Get serious. Better than I thought. think I'm getting better at this. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Good? Alright! 
Take this fist! And shove it! Let me out. <sighs> Guess we made it out okay. Looks like we can take a break here. Let's lay low for a bit. Hey, we're back at the shopping center. What happened to you taking us to the Barracuda's hideout? What do you mean, what happened? See that runway? Keep going past that, and there's an elevator that leads right to it. It's over there? Looks like it's deserted. We've got a clear shot. to our impromptu guests. Now let's get this show on the road. First up, we got an all-access look at our newest collection. And it's not just hot, it's to die for. Damn it! You assholes call this a fashion show? We're not here to turn heads, but I'll be happy to oblige. Let's go! You want some of this? Something Prepare wrong. yourself! Right. 
Here we go. Me too! Time to put you down! And now the grand finale! Put your hands together for our top model extraordinaire! Showtime's over, boys and girls! Say your prayers! better than I thought. Hey! Who knew I had it in me? Yes, I'm a fat. think I'm getting better at this. Get in. So, where does this thing go? You'll see when we get there. This is Crystal Aloha. Crystal Aloha? Crystal Aloha Resort Hotel. It's the swankiest hotel in Hawaii. What? <laughs> Crazy, right? This hotel's been top of its class for a hundred years. There's over 500 guest rooms, and the top floor's got views of the whole beach, all the way up to Diamond Head. It's practically the face of Hawaii. Man, what a trip! To think that elevator would lead all the way up here! At first, I couldn't believe it either. You saw the bidders down there, right? The ones who were all dressed up? There you go. This is how they get down there. Oh, so that's how they do it. So does the Barracuda's head honcho live here, then? Yeah. He's got the whole top floor rented out as his own personal palace. And that's not even half of it. He keeps all of his top dogs up here, too. If they're holding Akane-san captive, this is where we'll find her. This elevator only goes up to here, though. You mean we gotta switch to another elevator? Right. There's a guest elevator just outside. We can take that up. Follow me. It's you! Hey! It's them! The guys who are stirring up shit underground! <sighs> Seriously? Busted already? Hey yo, hey yo, man, fuck that! Don't let any of these assholes leave! No getting around them. Let's break through! Okay, you asked for it. Okay. Don't get What's the hold? Are you getting scared? Come at me! Prepare yourself! Allow me. Well, I'm waiting. Looks like I'm up. Okay, I'm up. Oh, yes, I'm a fast learner.
Oh, hold up! I can handle anything. We can beat your ass! Right. Time to throw down! Okay, I'm up. Here we go. Ready when you are. Come at me already. There's an elevator just past here. We can take that up to the 15th floor. Okay. We're right behind you, Chichan. Hey, do you really not have any doubts? About what? Everything I'm telling you. Who knows? Maybe I'm following the boss's orders and leading you right into a trap. That ever cross your mind? I told you he was keeping me in his room, remember? I mean, think about it. I ripped you off once already. For all you know, the elevator's packed with a bunch of dudes with machine guns or something. Well, we'll go from there then. I'm sure it'll work out. What? I'm serious. I made the decision to trust you after all. If that bites me in the ass, so what? What's up, Chi-chan? Sorry, I made a wrong turn. Huh? This whole area kind of runs together, so I made a mistake. We need to go this way. Hurry! Uh, right! just a dead end. Don't tell me you're lost. So you think, right? Now get a load of this. Whoa! The secret passage. Between this and all those lasers underground, the Barracudas must really want to keep people out. You have to if you want to survive in Hawaii's underworld. In we go. I get ya. You don't want this to be. Show me what you got. Damn it. You've been standing still wearing me out. Right. 
We send these assholes packing, then make them run for it. Sorry to drag my feet. Well, it's over. This sucks. Open one. Remember. Keep dragging it along and you're good as dead. Where is Full swing. <laughs> hasn't made it this far. <gasps> I thought I was gonna die. This is the door to the boss's suite. There's a good chance he'll be inside. And he calls the shots, huh? Must be a real scumbag. Let's make sure we're good and ready before we head in. Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. What's funny is until last century, this place was nothing but a taro field, far as the eye could see. Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields, brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy-ass resort built for some fancy-ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fate can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. 
I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country prosper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got guts betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's study? That was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Kasuka. It was right as you barged in. So I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger or a trap or something. That... I, um... I meant it. What? She did. And it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here, face to face, with yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? <sighs> Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive, even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? <sighs> who gives? Dios mío, who would have thought? A Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker. You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew you were just another spoiled brat. I figured I could use you. So I kept you around. <laughs> I could kill Kasika and the others anytime. But I drew you in for one simple reason. Their death would have been on you. And few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No. <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. <laughs> you bastard! Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. Here you go again, Ichiban. You sure you're not mad? What for? I made the choice to trust you, remember? <sighs> you really are an idiot, you know that? All right, enough chit-chat. Hey, 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 hang on. I still got unfinished business. Dwight. Remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked, and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it, even though they had next to no evidence. Oh, you were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. So you admit it? You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? <laughs> Dwight, there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll do for you is offer you a way out. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. 
You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle, not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's time I showed you what this blade of mine can do! Ready to bleed! Okay, I'm up. 
onto the next level. Learning more every day. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Hey, who knew I had it in me? Yes, I'm a fast. Think I'm getting better at this. Is Akane-san here or not? All right, all right. I'll be straight with you. We were looking for her, but she never showed up. If you don't believe me, feel free to search the whole floor. What do the Barracudas want with her? Honestly, I don't know. You're looking for her and don't even know why? It's not up to us. We got a request to look for her. We're just doing what we were asked. Request? Request from who? I don't know that either. They reached out to us anonymously. Sent it directly to my address. Seriously, info like that doesn't leak easily. And they sent a million dollars down payment. If we succeed, we would have another nine million coming our way. That's ten million, just to find some woman. <laughs> sure. It was shady, but who would pass on that? Damn it. You don't know anything else? About Akane-san? About who the hell's chasing after her? If I knew any more, I would have told you already. Ain't that something? That's the most real thing you've said all day. I assume that about does it for all your Akane-san business, Kasuga? Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's my turn. <laughs> you give me a yes or a no. That crime I got locked up for. Was that you? Both the setup and bringing in a fall guy? It was your call? Answer me! Okay, okay! Yes, damn it! All right. So it was you. Do you have any idea how bad you fucked me over? And not just me! <clears throat> wait, wait, stop, stop, wait, wait! Roman might be gone, but I can still wipe your criminal record easy! Just say the word! And I got money. A million. No, 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 no. Ten million dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, that'll give you a clean slate. And then some. You'll be set for life. Like hell I will! You think money's ever gonna bring my kid back? You think money's ever gonna bring you back? Never here. You got it? If you can promise me that, you're free to go. Well, it's your call! Uh, okay, okay, it's a deal. Uh, I'll get rid of everything, and I won't tell anyone either. Uh, I swear it, I, I swear! <sighs> All right. Just now. If you ever go back on your word, I'll put this thing right between your eyes. Oh yeah. And this lovely little number here goes viral. That's my promise. Well. I think that about wraps things up. Let's roll. You good now, Tomizawa? Honestly, I'd love to see him fry. But that it means sinking to his level. Plus, it's not like taking him out at spell the end of the Barracudas. We don't know who might leak info about Chitose, right? Better to leave him alive. 
keep everyone else in line. But why do this for me? <sighs> because, believe it or not, you saved my life too. <laughs> I may not get why, but you still betrayed Dwight and led us right to him on top of it. We wouldn't be here without you. So, how about we call it even? Between you and Ichiban, I had enough debt as it was. I figured I'd strike one off the list. <laughs> when the hell do you get so cool, Tomi? <laughs> I've always been cool, smartass. 